Marla Ruzica had a knack for making friends and a passion for helping the helpless. She saw war. She saw its victims. She also traveled through Afghanistan and Iraq with open eyes and an open mind. She saw what people there had suffered and their hopes for a different kind of future. Civic started in 2003, right here in Iraq. An amazing young humanitarian named Marla Ruzica had the idea of going door to door and really trying to understand how many civilians had been killed, what was the impact on those families. Then she went to Congress back in the United States and said, look, we have an ethical duty to help civilians recover. And that notion that you owed civilians something was really the bedrock of Civic. So unfortunately, Marla was killed in Baghdad in 2005. She was traveling from the airport into town and an improvised explosive device exploded. Carrying the torch of what Marla started is an enormous responsibility. And so since then, we've been growing exponentially and there's about 75 people at Civic spread across many offices around the world. It's up to our experts to constantly be the thought leaders and think through how civilians are harmed, how militaries can protect the civilians in each country in which we work. Today, we have the highest number of conflicts recorded for the last 30 years. 90% are civilian casualties. That means that only 10% of those killed are actual combatants that are fighting each other. The information we produce is the key and the lifeline for our work to enhance changes and lower casualties. And we capture all of that data and analyze it, understand where those gaps are. These conflicts are complex. They're changing on a daily basis. And so that information, it's imperative that we can take action on it. I often wonder when we do our work, what would Marla think about what we're doing? And my hope is that we are trying to keep the spirit that she had alive. The toolbox and the mission has evolved, but the spirit is the same. <laughs>